Hi, this is uh, Allison Vision 21 foot on a Dumbia trailer, twin axle, spare wheel, and mechanical disc brakes. Just been serviced. Four brand new tyres. All have bearing buddies on them. Submersible lighting. Also side guide lights on there to help with, with backing. Jockey stand folds up, out of the way. Boat has a very deep V, cuts through the water really nicely. Handrails up on the bow, just to give you a bit of extra support if you want to sit up there and or uh, when you're lowering the anchor. Moving down the side of the boat, see the hole's in very good condition, no marks, it's polished each season. Antenna for the VHF, navigation lights, windows for the, for the cabin. The trailer is self-centering so if you come in a little bit crooked it will straighten, straighten you up. Moving to the back of the boat, we've got the pod Yamaha 150 horsepower two stroke salt water series. Has the uh, genuine uh, weather covers all done up at the moment. Hydraulic steering, it is oil injected also, so I don't have to mix fuel. Got a little swim platform. Uh, with a telescopic ladder and there's the uh, speed sensor and, and uh, depth sounder link there moving around this side brand new Mercury 15 two stroke auxiliary on a completely stainless steel bracket adjustable positions. Only done about an hour's worth of work. Moving up into the boat, fuel filling cap here, compliance plate. The back of the boat we've got some rod holders on either side. Plenty of stepping area. The swim platform actually sits at water level. Moving into the boat, camper covers all the way around. They can be zipped off in all different sections. So you can just have the bimini top or the sides or both. Also has LED lighting in the top and the sides and three-seater lounge at the back which can be removed if you want more space for fishing we'll lift that up in a minute in the side plenty of storage okay drainage down the sides put the uh, rubber non-slip matting in Two chairs up the front, also removable. Gas lift, adjustable front and back position. Very comfortable. See grab handles, nice soft cushioning. The helm, 
VHF radio, Cobb Marine, very good brand. Yamaha gauges. Gives you oil level, hours, battery, compass. Got here we've got our control panel, DC outlet, so around the side here we've got a little DC outlet, charge your phone or run a fridge freezer off. Got a little cup holder as well. GPS, anchor light for when you're camping overnight. Bilge pump, it's got a bilge pump in the bilge as well. Uh, cockpit lights, so if we, we'll turn those on in a minute for you. And navigation lights. It's also a auto choke, just push the key in and uh, that'll adjust the choke for you. Nice wood finish Vane steering wheel. Yamaha controls with electric tilt. Down the bottom we've got little storage lockers. We've got uh, some flares and things in that one there. In this side, we've got fire extinguisher. On the passenger side here, we've got a uh, glove compartment and a handrail. That opens up there, enough to you know to sit a little platter on as well. In there, heaps of storage room. That's also sealed as well, so you can put ice and drinks in there if you want. And, and there's a drain plug that goes out through the side to drain the water out. Got an extra camper cover to seal the front area if you need to. You can see this front front part also unclips and zips up and there's a little ties here to uh, you know to keep it all rolled up out of the way. Down the back here we have a uh, battery isolator, one battery or spent round to this side for both, off at the two and then both at the top. So if we go back here and turn on the cockpit lights We'll see there we've got LED lighting there and then also a little pivot one at the top here. Okay. Moving into the cabin. Very comfortable. Lighting top here as well. Two different settings. Storage shelves for life jackets, towels. On both sides. EPIRB mount at the top as well. All the cushions underneath have little storage lockers that are all drained. The main, the main cushion underneath that is you've actually got the table for the back. And underneath that table, big storage locker okay for blankets or you can actually fit three scuba cylinders in there or a, a porta potty will fit in there perfectly well it's actually quite quite deep just to give you an idea and it's also drained as well you can quite comfortably Go to all the way to the front and leg room. See, so I've got quite a bit of leg room so two people can overnight quite comfortably. Moving down the back, you see here we've got the uh, that's access to the hatch where the uh, table clips in. The rear seat also lifts up underneath here. So you've got the Yamaha uh, oil reserve. We've got a little spare fuel tank for the auxiliary motor. And then round on this side, we've got two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries, all in waterproof or water splash proof containers. Okay. And that's a primer, primer bulb for the main motor. And this is obviously the fueling pipe down there. We've also got a few inflatable tenders down the back there stored out of the way. Fuel capacity, 150 litres, uh, which is in deck. Uh, 
digital fuel gauge on the on the console as well and uh, cruising range uh, we've had about over 200 kilometers um, over land distance so you see very very tidy uh, very clean uh, Just also take you out the front here and show you the uh, little uh, mirror in the front there. Hatch seals. It has uh, two different settings, so you can keep it a little bit open if you want, just to let a bit of cool breeze in. This is the access through to the uh, to the anchor locker. So here, a little switch there, even a little rubber grommet on there so nothing gets scratched. Sand plow anchor, 20 metres of chain, plenty of rope, all rubber mang there so nothing has been scratched. Okay, all nice fittings. Obviously we've got, um, that's just a uh, storm cover there so the boat's been kept out of the, out of the weather. It is stored outside but it does have that um, waterproof cover over it the whole time. See I've just got the top canvas cap folded over there. Nice big windscreen. So even with everything zipped up, you can still see out quite easily. So that rear lance does can be removed completely uh, if you prefer to do more fishing rather than camping or cruising. So you see there's just some little stainless brackets they clip out and the whole assembly comes away. Little drink holders. See there's just another view of the, the motor there and its bracket. The swim step was on the other side, it's been swapped over to so the auxiliaries on that side so balance the boat better. Quite easily add a, a bait board to the back here if you wanted. Plenty of cleats all around the boat. This little thing here is where the uh, anchor light clips into, it's on a mast. 